Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Jan Ryherd. As we look over Mount Vernon right now, things are much quieter than where we were 24 hours ago with that snow starting to move into the area and should stay that way here as we head through the next 24 hours or so just beyond this into tomorrow afternoon. I think we'll start to see some more impactful weather moving into the area. But again, uh, today green and good to go. Here's how your zone cast looks as we head through the rest of the afternoon. Northeastern zone around 34 in Elkator, 33 in Edgewood, Dubuque up to around 35 today. Mostly cloudy skies continue with us. Northwestern zone pretty similar with 37 in Waterloo, LaPorte City, 34 in Old Wine and West Union. Our central zone today climbing up to around 36 in Cedar Rapids, Central City around 35, Vinton 39, Toledo Bell Plain around 38, and in our southern zone around 38 also for Iowa City, Riverside, Brighton as well. Thickerney up to around 39. Now tonight we'll be dipping down into the middle 20s. Mostly cloudy skies overhead for us out there. Again, still pretty quiet and even still pretty quiet as we start off tomorrow morning. Through the day though, snow does become likely as we head through the afternoon, evening hours, overnight, and still even lingering into Sunday with temperatures hanging out in the 30s for us here this weekend. Let's time out those precipitation chances here on Pinpoint Futurecast. Now, again, as we get through the day today, a cloud mix of sun and clouds, but more of those clouds most definitely, and even still into early on tomorrow morning, just the clouds overhead. We'll start to notice precipitation nudging towards eastern Iowa as we head through the afternoon. Here we are at noontime, uh, still most of that precipitation off into western Iowa at this point, continuing to push into the areas we head through around 2, 3 o'clock or so. I think uh, eastern Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Iowa City areas, Waterloo as well, starting to see that precipitation uh, nudging into Dubuque just a little bit later. So again, Sopadapazo Parade tomorrow afternoon should be in good shape for the parade itself. But as we near the end, I think we'll start to see those chances for snow getting ever closer and uh, continuing with us throughout the afternoon and evening. So do take it easy if you plan to be out uh, for the later hours of the day on Saturday. Snow lingers into Sunday morning, starting to push out of the area though by late morning, and then we're pretty quiet through the rest of the day. Can't completely rule out a lingering scattered flurry later on in the day on Sunday, but again, uh, really not expecting much of that to be sticking around. When it comes to snowfall totals with this next batch, one to three inches widely expected for us across the area. Pretty similar to this last event versus that very wet, very slushy snowfall. Temperatures, though, have dropped a little bit from where we were yesterday, so do maybe expect a little bit more of that accumulation on the roadways uh, versus what we were dealing with yesterday. Hopefully, though, still just enough of that warmth and treatment that we are able to see things kind of clearing out. Here's how things look as we head through the next several days. Look for those middle 30s on the way. We'll see those uh, temperatures kind of dipping down even more so as we head into Monday there. Also, as we uh, head through the weekend, it is the weekend to spring forward. Want to remind everyone of that uh, before you get into a weekend mode uh, so that you're not late for things as you head into <laughs> Sunday and Monday. Right, don't want to miss those Sunday morning activities. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Don't want don't to be late for church services. Don't want to be late for work on Monday. And have to remember how to change the clock on your car and microwave We're, all those ones exactly. that don't do it themselves. Exactly. We're spoiled with our with our watches and our phones yeah. that, that auto update now and uh, yeah the, the clock one just leave that till next time. Leave that till yeah. fall. Just know it's now off. <laughs> just put a sticky note next to it yeah. saying wrong time. <laughs> exactly. Minus one. Hour. And then check your phone. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> all right. Thanks Jan.